Hello and welcome to the MPL Defect of the Month. My name's Bob Willis. This month, let's just briefly talk about delamination of printed circuit boards. Now, delamination of a board normally occurs where there is moisture in the board. As the moisture heats up, more energy uh, is being subjected to different surfaces within the structure of the printed circuit board. So, key thing, moisture will have an impact. However, quite often, moisture actually accumulates in those areas of the printed circuit board where the perhaps, on multi-layer boards, there is poor delamination or poor adhesion to inner layers. So the moisture accumulates in those areas and all that energy is forced against those surfaces. Now, if you have a board that has delaminated and you can visibly see it quite easily on perhaps the outer layer, then my simple tip to understand where the problem has occurred is to take a knife, just a normal pocket knife or a scalpel blade and cut out the bubble, which is basically the blister. Now, if you look at the surface uh, where it's separated, either within the glass bundle or within the copper surface where the epoxy has bonded to that surface, you should be able to determine whether you ever had good proper adhesion. On the copper side, you should be able to see evidence of adhesion, not only of the epoxy, but also the impression of the glass bundles within that surface. When you look at the glass side or the bundle side, you should be able to see evidence that uh, there is, it is saturated, there's a full level of epoxy present in the glass bundles. If it isn't, then perhaps some other manufacturing process had an impact. So bottom line is, yes, when delamination occurs, it's moisture in the printed circuit board that's given the energy, but sometimes it's not the root cause of the problem. So use these simple techniques to understand where the problem is occurring. Microsectioning sometimes is not the best technique to understand delamination failure modes.